Good morning everyone and welcome back to another episode of Unplug TV with the Outlander PHTV. Beautiful sunshine weather after all this rain. <laughs> we had three millimeters of rain. All right, today with another challenge again. Yet another challenge, two customer appointments after work. I should make it in full electric. I will drive eco. Oh, I should turn on eco then. No heating. Freezing cold 14 degrees this morning So two customer appointments all in total it will be close to 40 45 kilometers I could potentially recharge at work, but I don't do it today. I challenge myself again Try to drive as slow and economically eco efficiently as possible To try to make it in one full charge Let's uh, see if we can do it. Hey guys, unfortunately the PHEV watchdog has um, given up. The mobile phone I used, the second mobile phone I used is not starting correctly anymore. Um, I can turn it on sometimes and then it runs for about a minute or so and then it restarts constantly. Also, it seems my second phone, which is running the PHEV watchdog, is not working anymore. I can't turn it on and I can't get it to work and it gets really hot when I charge it. Uh, it all comes together, right? So, unfortunately, no PHEV watchdog anymore. We only have the gum and the battery gauge here and the power meter. That's the essential stuff we have. Uh, let's see if this guy wants to overtake me because I'm driving like Miss Marple here. Ah uh, buddy here's your chance. Nah. He's probably doing an eco test as well. I'm sure. Well guys thank you so much for all your nice and kind comments on social media about my last video where I officially said goodbye to the community, to the Outlander PHEV. <laughs> it was so much fun to read all your comments. It's like we are separating, we are not doing anything together anymore. I'm not doing videos anymore. It's like the end of the world if you read some of the comments. <laughs> oh, I had so much fun, really. I should do this more often, really. It's just saying goodbye and then pop up again like a zombie. You know, it's not the end of the channel anyway, because I will make uh, more videos, of course. I will keep making videos. I like this shit. And I have also ordered new gear, new video and audio gear to make this a little bit more compelling um, in the new vehicle then. Okay, I just need to pay attention here. And so many, so many guesses what will the next car be. It's amazing. Oh, look at this dirty diesel there. Ford Ranger. Smoking like an old chimney. Oh my God. Well, so many guesses about the new vehicle. Some of them are, some of them are way off. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Let me give you a new hint. The car will have a plug. I know you, I said this many times, I cannot go back, to, I cannot drive a normal combustion engine car anymore. I, I think this, this um, stone age is gone. Once you drive electric, you will always drive electric again. You don't go back to a combustion engine car, that's just disgusting. I'm not buying an, an VW Touareg V10 diesel or something as one guy suggested <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for more updates soon I so I'm now uh, three bars down here from the battery gauge which means they would be in the high 70s they would be about 77 78 percent I guess at the moment so pretty good we still got 31 kilometers here on the gum to go and I'm almost at work now, so it will be good. And we always know we are gaining some kilometers uh, because of this recalculation the software does after parking. 
and in my case it is um, yeah gaining me two or three kilometers so we'll see how much that is uh, this time 139.9 so one dollar forty per liter unleaded fuel doesn't bother me We made it, uh, lost about five, yeah, five bars down and uh, 30 kilometers on the GOM here. Uh, I guess we will have 31 or 32 after parking here. Okay, let's do some work at work and see you in eight hours. So first appointment is just up the hill here about um i would say oh, maybe two or three kilometers but it's uphill so but i think i can manage to regen the energy back while coming down and the second appointment is a bit further away it's just a small detour probably another 10 kilometers i need to squeeze out and i've just realized we've got um fairly strong are you watching me while i'm changing <laughs> But you know, I'm confident I can make it somehow. And if not, I'm, yeah, it will be a disaster. Okay, let's start up this puppy here and see how much we have gained while parking with a self-charging PHEV. Come on. Three kilometers gained while parking. Oh, that's good. That's a 10%. I was on 30 kilometers before, and now after parking, 33 kilometers. Woohoo! Driving in the city. Nico, turn of the passenger. Pedestrian warning. And, uh, Okay, 29 kilometers, so that was the, yeah, you don't gain twice a day, really don't. No, you never. Um, interestingly, people are still contacting me and asking, Andy, I can do only 45 kilometers in the PHEV. This is most likely your driving style. You are not adapting to the right driving style in the PHEV. You need to learn how to drive this car. You can drive it normally as a normal combustion engine car and you drive on B5 all the time. But region is good, but coasting is better. Coasting is how you get kilometers with a car. Set the car on B0. Oh, bus. Set the car on B0 and then let it coast. Whenever you have the chance to take your foot off the accelerator and let it coast a couple of hundred meters, that's where you make the kilometers. And also here, accelerating up a hill take it very very easy if you can if you push too hard it uses a lot of energy which costs your EV range take it very easy the lower the power meter is the better the efficiency the more EV range you have and then now here on top of the hill I'm pushing it into B0 and let it already coast I'm not in a hurry and there's no car behind me so all B0 coasting 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 that's the magic. B4, B5, no brakes, nothing, no brakes. Okay, let it coast. And now here, going back to B0, let the car coast. Traffic light is red anyway. There's no benefit from accelerating now and using energy to be the first at the red traffic light. No benefit. Ah, uh, okay, now I have to break. Don't want to kill people here, right? So much traffic here, unbelievable. Yeah, I gained, I gained only um, one kilometer so far down the hill here. So it wasn't too much, but still back to 30 kilometers. And again here, going back to B0 
and I now I have to slow down down there so let the car coast that's another 300 meters until the intersection there 300 meters no energy used yeah this is basically a habit um, of me now to put the car in B0 all the time when I'm driving so I back in B5 or whatever B setting to uh, uh, slow down but then when you get out of the traffic light or get out of the roundabout back in B0 I'm always driving in B0 it doesn't make a difference while you're driving but once you take your foot off the accelerator it starts coasting while with any B setting it will slow down and then you have to put more energy back in to accelerate again so B0 is always the way to go and this is how you get the kilometers close to the other customer and I've just used a bit below my 50% mark of the battery gauge here and we still have uh, 23 kilometers left on the GOM. I'm uh, guessing I would have about 15 kilometers to drive back home from here so it will be totally fine. I am actually feeling a bit unsafe now driving without the PHEV watchdog. I'm so used to look down on the percentage of the state of charge that it's very hard for me to only trust the GOM and the battery gauge here. Um, with the percentage shown I could easily tell you if I can make it or not but with these only these two figures now it's um, different, quite different. Okay, so this is all fixed now. Um, eco Okay, so we're going home now. What we can do now, we can we can just wait until the computer starts up, which takes always an hour. The computer is so slow to start here. That's uh, just to give us an estimate how far it is from here to home. It will be 14 kilometers, and we've got 23 on the GOM. So we don't need to drive overly careful from here on because I've got plenty of energy in the battery still. Should be totally fine. Well, I have explained this efficiency driving uh, quite a few times now for the PHEV, but still people contacted me and saying, look, I can't get the EV range I should have or I had at the beginning, what's going on? And most likely it is your driving style it is, you're not driving in B0, it is air condition on, heating on, elevation, of course, wind and the speed, of course. If you try to be as efficient as possible, keep the needle down, drive in B0, let the car coast if possible without holding anyone up. Uh, I'm sure you can squeeze a lot of kilometers out of the battery. People still contacting me, go ahead, start at episode one and learn. <laughs> Ha <laughs>got this uh, strong headwind and you can tell from the power consumption here at 100 kilometers it's far above the word eco on the power meter which means we are using far more power now than normally and um, but still we are safe it's only six kilometers to home and we have 11 kilometers in the GOM and the GOM gets more precise at the end of the trip so we can just uh, hammer the car here with 105 and use a bit more power and we can still make it. Okay guys, we made it of course, we made it. Just listening to talking Tesla, they are so funny these guys. Okay, so we made it home of course, four kilometers left and still two blue bars. That means we are above 35%. Well, what can I say? What a great car, again. 
drives me to work, drives me to the first customer, drives me to another customer and drives me back home, all in full electric. I don't even know how much kilometer we have done today, but it was a lot. It felt a lot. On the way back from the last customer back to home, I drove just normally. That's why I have only four kilometers left. Otherwise, I would probably have eight kilometers left, but that's fine. Two blue bars is all I need to make it home. I plug it back in, fully charged to tomorrow. I've got, well, I tell you what, it feels really sad to let the PHEV go. <coughs> well, from the moment I knew it will go away, I was a bit happy that this chapter is over. But, but now after still driving it and I know it goes away, I still, I, I, feel, I feel really sad. I really like this car. It drives amazingly good. The technology works just fine. It, it's super reliable. It's, it's super eco, economically, ecological, makes it sense when you drive electric. It, it's just a brilliant car. Well, that's a lifetime experience, I guess. Well, hopefully, Japan gets their stuff together and they're building more battery electric vehicles. I think PHEVs are a bit on the way out already. Even many manufacturers are producing PHEVs now. Yeah guys, anyway, so far this little road trip today and my eco driving explained again, drive B0, let the car coast and drive slowly, watch the power meter. That makes a huge difference. Okay guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia. Signing off. You stay charged and drive electric. And we will all see us again in the next video very soon. Yes, there will be more videos. Okay, see you then. Bye bye. Okay.